Right now, the water continues to rise on the Mississippi and St. Croix rivers, which are already sitting at major flood stage. Morgan Wolf has the latest on where our spring flooding stands tonight. Sandbags and sump pumps in still water. The water is still rising tonight. As the St. Croix River is just over 89 feet. Meanwhile, over in St. Paul, the Mississippi River is sitting just around 18 feet. I was told all of the investments into flood mitigation that Minnesota has made are truly paying off. No, that's true. That's right. Craig Schmidt says that this could have been a lot worse. A lot of the rivers are now at a top 10, top 5 flood. The Mississippi is about 12th, I think, all time. But yeah, given how high the levels have gotten, the amount of impacts have been certainly uh, uh, a lot less than we might have had. The Crow River at Delano crested Monday morning just over 20 feet, less than three feet from an all time record. The National Weather Service expert says that Minnesota's work on homes and floodplains like Granite Falls, Hastings and Delano has actually prevented catastrophic impacts. 20, 30 years of flood mitigation efforts that people have done. The rain last week did bump out the crest for many rivers. The St. Croix and Mississippi will continue to rise slightly this week, but our dry summer and fall last year helped us out this spring. The soils were able to, to soak in some of that uh, snow melt. It's going to take some time for these river levels to start dropping after they crest. The Mississippi River has major flood stages stretching from St. Paul down to St. Louis. 